Yo, 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 what up? Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Now we are in Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nature island of the Caribbean. I thought I was getting a strange look there and I thought I'd done something wrong as usual, but this time I hadn't. <laughs> but what we're going to be doing is we're heading to the south of the island of Sofia to go dive with Nature Island Diving right down the bottom over there and we're going to be going searching for frogfish. Frogfish! We've frog never fish, had them on the fish. channel before and we're hoping for the first time, like seahorses for the first time in Rotan, that we're going to get lucky with Dominica because apparently they're around here, aren't they? Yes. So I saw them last time. Yeah, in 2017 before the hurricane, so hopefully they're still here after the hurricane. Let's jump in and let's go see if we can find them. We're here at, at Nature Island Diving. We're about to go around the point of Scott's Head for a couple uh, dives. First one is about 24 meters, second one is at 18 meters. So we'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Where are y'all from? Uh, Bermuda. Oh! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, some safety guidelines here. So, when we were coming into the jetty or leaving What type the jetty, of diving operation? Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, while we're underway, you're welcome. For our very first dives in Dominica, we head out with Nature Island Diving, down in Sefira. Now we're really excited for this because we're getting to dive the Atlantic side of Dominica. They hadn't been out there in over six months because of the weather. It's very rough season on that side, the Caribbean side's a lot smoother to dive, but today we were able to. Now it did get a bit bouncy when we were out there, but we were excited. No one got to dive here for a while, so we knew there was going to be loads of cool things to see and we were just excited to dive Dominica for the first time. Now Holly's dived Dominica before in 2017, pre-Hurricane, so she was excited to see how it looked after Hurricane Maria really impacted the island back in 2017. But with not many divers around, there was lionfish everywhere. We were seeing lionfish constantly through this dive on the Atlantic side, and you can see Vern right at the beginning of the dive, look how full that zookeeper is. We were only about 10 minutes into this dive and he's already filled a zookeeper of lionfish. It was crazy how many were around. And then we come across this really cool balloon fish. I love their face, how cute they look. And then Holly signaling filefish. As you can see, we have a scrolled filefish here, just cruising along the reef. And then I look to the side, and we come across another species of filefish as well, a white spotted filefish. There was so much life on this dive. On the Atlantic side, on the Atlantic side, we were seeing so much life to see and explore. Look at all these barrel sponges. It was just a stunning dive, and we're about to head back now for our surface interval. Trouble. Warm. Warm. Heat. Sun. Sun. Heat. Warm. Oh. Okay, where's that towel at? <laughs> it's in the lockers. 
Um, when we get in, we're going to get in, make sure everybody's comfortable. We'll stay in the same groups that we were in last time. Um, we'll probably stick a little closer because I am determined that it's not going to want to be on a frog fish one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Off you go. As we drop in on the second dive at Witch's Point, La Secour, we come across our very first frogfish. Now I was really excited to see frogfish because I had never seen them before. Now they're very rare in a lot of places because they're very difficult to spot. They almost make themselves look like a sponge. And I didn't even notice, this is how good their camouflage is. Holly noticed that there was two together. I couldn't even notice the second one because he was so camouflaged in. They turn their skin to almost the colour of the sponge. They're from the angular fish family. You know when you see the movies of like Finding Nemo, when you have the angler fish at the very deep one that has like that bulb lure at the front with the bulb that lights up? They're from the same species of fish. They have lures that sit at the front and that ambush predators. So what they do is they camouflage themselves into the sponges. You almost can't see them as you see the two there. Then what they do with their lure is they attract their prey in. And when the prey gets close, they have the fastest mouth opening and closing speed, which is 6 milliseconds. So within 6 milliseconds of that fish getting too close to that frogfish, he's gone. So they are very good ambush predators. And their mouth can open up to the size of their head, which is crazy to think. Think how much food you can get in them. And as we were looking around, I came across another one. This one was a grey colour, he was out on the reef and what was really cool with this one, he was actually moving position. I spent ages watching this frogfish, look at the way he walks. So they don't really swim, they walk step down, but they do have like a little fan system behind them that helps them to move. But I was just amazed watching this frogfish move to his new vantage point. And you can see I'm trying to get some good shots of him with the other fish and he's watching that type of fairy bass sit next to him. He's just eyeing it, saying, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, but you're just out of my reach. You're just teasing. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn around, face the other way, and wait for you to get close. Now, the moment I turned the camera off, he actually caught that fish. So, he was waiting very patiently. I first thought he was just avoiding me on the camera. But no, he was waiting for that fish, which he did eat. And then, you look into the reef and you see so much to see in Dominica. There is banded coral shrimp everywhere, mori eels everywhere. It was so cool to see, and even when you're just cruising along the walls, you just look in, see some yellow sponges, and look what I spotted again, another frogfish. I had never seen a frogfish before this day, and on this dive, they were everywhere. Then I decided to scare Holly. Came in, hit her because she was so focused on submarine animals she was watching and she looked at me and went, oh my god, you gave me a fright. She thought she'd headbutted into some coral. Nope, it was just me being me. And then when we come back to the boat, we come across another frogfish. Now this, at first, I thought was a new frogfish, a different one. But it turns out it was the two we saw right at the beginning of this dive. But this one now is out walking, moving position. I spent so long trying to film him walking because when the other divers came, he was moving around. But of course, when I got there, he had finished walking and stayed still. But we had an awesome dive exploring, finding frogfish. And I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Oh, he's gonna go as fast and hit the biggest no, no, wave. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going, yeah, those girls. Yeah, he's going, get, right. them. get them wet. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He's the best 
Right. Um, when they get kind of in the plate of size, so probably next month. Um, but then we decided not to because these are green. Okay. Um, and so they're going to let these get to the size where they can tag them, tag yep. like tag them, yep. uh, and then release them. That is awesome. And will they do okay being released when they, they're bigger even though they have... Oops, sorry. Well. Sorry, Simon. Yeah, they should do. They're fed, they're fed out. Uh, they're fed out. Oh, okay. So they're fed. They kind of yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. That made it just enough. And they're fed greens. Because, uh, you know, lettuce. I was just say, so when you guys get close, they get excited because they think they're getting fed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. Because I say he's feisty that one. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you think they're gonna kind of recognize divers as people? Uh, potentially. So. Maybe. All right. Frog fish. Frog fish. Frog fish. So with Holly's cheering, you guys can probably work out what we found, and you just watched the video. Frog fish. <laughs> So we actually found a couple of different species of frogfish. We found an orange one, a grey one, not and a, a green species. one. That's a color. I don't know the species names, but if you guys know the species names, comment below. But we had a couple of different colored ones, and we had one out swimming, which was really cool, and two in the same den, which was awesome to see, wasn't it? But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Ten species. We've got all the words here on Blue Horizon diving today. That's how good my fish IDs day. Is that a species? Orange one, green fish. Yellow fish. <laughs> Red fish, blue fish, yellow. What? What's the Dr. Seuss poem? I don't know. Red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are watching this, but as always, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's your next dive, and for everyone, thank you for supporting the channel. They probably we'll see already you next clicked week. off. If we're honest. <laughs> see ya. Bye. <laughs> Behind the scenes, Holly's happy she saw some frogfish. <laughs> See you guys next week, bye. <laughs>